Hey, what's up y'all? Apple here. Um, so this is my second recording of this video. Um, unfortunately, the first time I was recording it, right? Um, my memory ran out on my phone and it stopped and I didn't like beep at me or do anything to let me know that it wasn't recording anymore. So here I am again. Uh, it's like I did a rehearsal, right Pepper? Yeah, did a rehearsal, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll get a T-R-E-A-T -E after this one. Yes, you will. Um, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to fill you guys in. I know it's been a little while. Uh, it's been like a, maybe about a week or so since I last did a video. And I apologize for that. Um, I definitely had some struggles this last week with just being motivated and um, dealing with being by myself right now. I miss my wife dearly. Um, and uh, when she's not around, I it, it can be really hard for me to, to, to find that motivation that just feels so effortless when I'm with her. So um, I promised her I would keep making these videos and I would keep doing these things, every, every little thing I can around here. Um, and today was a good day. Um, she's been absolutely amazing these last couple days um I've had some really nice talks and she's she's shown me so many more of the cute things that she does um i know i told you on the last video like how she does she's done this little like mini house thing uh she's done more of that um she uh she has really really gotten into the crocheting and she has made some beautiful things i'm so proud of her she's she blows my mind every time she does any of this kind of stuff. And it's always like, she's always doing these things for something special, for something thoughtful. And um, I, I mean, I've never been with somebody who is this thoughtful ever. Like, and it, it feels so good. Like every time she does anything for me um, or she does anything for my family, it just feels amazing. So thank you. Um, but uh so yeah i'm back um and today i woke up feeling pretty good um just had a little headache at some one point but um that part of that is uh i'm trying to cut out um a lot more caffeine um i think i was overdoing it on the caffeine um i think i was combating like my feeling a little low um with not having enough energy and I'm like, oh, I'll just drink some more caffeine. I think I was overdoing it, and um, I think it was having some adverse effects on my health. Um, my doctor told me I'm just slightly, um, have a slight little bit of uh, higher blood pressure uh, than I usually do. And um, you know what, I, I told myself like I don't need caffeine, um, I mean, for uh it's well the, the entire time i was doing i did like how many months like four or five months in um in the during my little bit of time in the army i didn't have any caffeine it sucked but like it doesn't take long for my body to acclimate and then i don't need it to stay awake i can stay awake on my own um, I, I'm just going to restrict myself to like having, um, one cup of coffee in the morning, um, uh, maybe have two cups of coffee on like a weekend, um, but early in the morning, you know, and then it's just, it's no more caffeine for the rest of the day. Um, and I already feel a lot better from it. Um, I, I'm not like, um, sometimes I would notice like my heart was beating a little fast and things like that. So feels good feels good to do that right pepper yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay um so what else do i got going on um oh so i am gonna bring back um apple look stuff up um i'm kind of excited about this one i didn't think i was going to i thought i would just keep doing vlogs but uh the, the internet has found a way um so there's been a lot of um, really fun articles I've read on Reddit 
of all places. I love Reddit, by the way. I'm going to definitely do a video where I talk about some of my favorite like subreddits on there. Um, and I get a lot of inspiration on like the things I think about from a day to day basis. I think about a lot of weird nerdy stuff and um, I've always thought it would be fun to share those things. Um, and these videos are an absolute challenge for me. They push me out of my comfort zone, um, which I think is good. I think everyone needs to find those little things in life that challenge them um, because they help you grow. And um, I, think, I think growth is extremely important not just from like a successful money-making perspective. I think um, humans just do better when they know that they have been growing. It, it, it makes life feel less regrettable um, at the end of it if you felt like you've been growing the entire time that you've been doing this. So um, yeah, I, I've been trying to find more and more ways to push myself and this is one of those ways. And I don't hate it. I don't mind it. I actually don't mind being in front of a camera. I don't mind making these videos. Um, and uh, I feel like public affairs would have been another good job in the uh, Air Force for me at one point. But um, here I am. So um, with that, uh, bringing back Apple look stuff up, which means I'm also bringing back the camera in front of my computer and um, sitting at my chair and doing videos from there as well as trying to maybe incorporate a little bit of that and also these little videos on the couch with Pepper. I might do some like messing around with the camera over there but I ordered myself a nice um, relatively inexpensive microphone um, that apparently some really big like podcasters and stuff use so it should sound really really nice. Um, really excited about that. Um, I've listened back to some of these videos, like little snippets. I really hate watching my own videos. I don't know why, but, um, the audio to me sounds like crap, especially compared to when I did those Apple look stuff up videos from years back. Unfortunately, that microphone is gone, but this one I'm getting now. Um, I think it might actually sound better for this purpose of what I'm uh, wanting to do. So really excited about that. Um, and I'm going to, I will, I know oh, I promised this weeks and weeks ago, I am going to bring back streaming. Um, the microphone that's on my headset sucks. So I don't want to make streams or videos with that, which is also the other reason I got the microphone so I can stream with that microphone. And I am bringing back Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I have YouTube and the internet once again on another completely different thing has retaught me how to like do some little things with autopilot and uh, landing systems and things like that and I really look forward to trying it out and flying all over Tennessee and Kentucky and that whole area because um, I've absolutely fallen in love with how beautiful it is there and um, I really really love the view outside the window when I'm flying in and out of Tennessee um, on the plane because it is uh, it is a gorgeous gorgeous green green state and I love it and I cannot wait to move there um, but in the meantime I'm gonna attempt to learn how to do some more of my flying see if I can shake a little bit of the rust off and do that so um, that's really fun um, and the stuff I'm gonna look up uh, yeah I want to look up um, all kinds of things. I'm, I've been having these, like, I, I love philosophy, um, for those of you who know me, and I love talking about stuff like that. And I found that philosophy and like things like mental health or your own health or um, all these things can all kind of tie in together in, in some way. And um, it's been really interesting for me because um, you know, I've been personally really trying to work on myself, like really try and grow myself. Um, and it has awakened like different things that I was not previously aware of about myself. And um, it's been scary, fun, exciting, all, all of the above um, in this whole process. And I, I think anyone who has ever had purposeful change in their life 
has felt that way about that change. It is never easy. Um, if it were easy, everyone would change and everyone would be better, but here we are in the world that we're in right now. So um, that'll be, it'll be fun. I'm gonna do things like, um, what does existential crisis mean to me? It's, that's a big one for me. Um, and I have like kind of melded my brain around it and figured out kind of my own take on it and how I deal with it. Um, humility, being humble is like, in my opinion, the one of the greatest qualities or things that you could work on as a person and something I love to talk about because um, I, I look at many, many of the like genuinely good people in the world and they all seem to have the one thing in common and that they're very humble. Um, and I want to kind of talk about that in a video. Um, uh, talk about um, what it means to communicate from a place of understanding. This is something that was very hard for me and it still is hard for me. Um, I, I can have a really strong ego where I will jump to conclusions or I will think I know what you mean before you say it. And when you go into a conversation like that, when you go in thinking like, um, and you see this all the time on like CNN or whatever, and you get these talking heads that are talking to each other. It's like, oh, this guy's a right wing, this guy's a left wing. I already know exactly what he thinks and he understands and his position on things. And there is, that's not communicating. That's just yelling at each other over a television show. Um, and I think we're surrounded by a lot of that and we bring that into our personal lives and communicating with your loved ones that way is horrible. It is an absolutely horrible way to communicate with each other. And um, humility kind of plays, you know, hand in hand with this, but um, I definitely want to get into a video where I talk about the idea of communicating from a place of understanding rather than communicating to say something, um, which is kind of the opposite of that. So, um, some other like really nerdy things I want to get into, like, um, I always, I love, especially nowadays, um, with inflation the way it is, um, the way different markets have been just going absolutely bonkers. Um, I am no expert. I will never claim to be an expert. I do have a degree in economics. I have a horrible GPA in it, but I did get a fairly decent understanding and a fairly decent grasp on a lot of the topics there. And um, I would love to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, same goes with things like stock prices. Like I hear people ask like, what determines the price of a stock? They, a lot of it is, is it's misunderstood. It's, uh, um, it isn't, uh, necessarily intuitive and I hope that the way I can explain it might be able to do that. Um, I want to do a video about my military experience, um, give you my perspective, what my story was like, um, things that I was lied about but then the unexpected good things that came from it, um, all of it. I, I want to do a video about that, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, my mom's gonna like this one maybe do a little video on Wordle. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not, but I've nerded out about it. There was a really good video where this guy like um, basically figured out how to program a, a program to essentially um, solve Wordles as quickly as possible. Um, and um, it was really interesting, I, it, was, it was kind of fun. So um, yeah, uh, so those are the things I've been really wanting to talk about on um, these videos. I'll still do some of these, you know, um, these vlogs, uh, talk about my day to day. Um, I know that for my wife and my mom, uh, it's nice for them to see like what I'm doing day to day. Like today I um, did a whole bunch of chores, you know, and I made myself some really delicious dinner with uh, some black bean soup. And I, I promise I will eventually uh, get my camera set up to where I can film that, um, show you how I, I make my stuff. So I'll get to that, I promise, I'll get to that. Um, 
so yeah, um, plan on doing all that kind of good stuff. Um, also just, um, maybe doing not necessarily reaction videos. I don't want to get that in the weeds with like video editing or anything like that. Not that it's hard. Um, I just have to overlay my face on like someone else's video, but I don't want to get into like the legal repercussions of making reaction videos. Not really wanting to do that, but, um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, probably too much YouTube. Um, but there's been some really, really good ones and some like dubious ones. And I kind of wouldn't mind talking about some of them. Um, and th they bring up some really great topics that um, I love to like maybe just give my own perspective on. Um, they've been just very like just inspirational in terms of just making these videos. Um, one of them is a guy who encourages people to make video games, um, to learn how to program, to push themselves to like learn new things that they thought they never could. Um, and yeah, I just, you know, I want to, I want to do some reactions and stuff like that. Um, really, really cool stuff there. And, um, oh, that's the last thing. Um, some really cool video games came out and I'm real excited about it. So Diablo is coming out with a new expansion this October. Real excited about that. It looks real gruesome, real crazy. Um, I've always loved that universe. My wife knows. Uh, that's my one of my go-to games when I want to just kind of space out and just kill demons for, um, you know, an hour or so or whatever and just, um, just kill demons, get loot, make my character look cool. And yeah, um, so real excited about that one. And then um, uh, a new Microsoft Flight Simulator is coming out later this year. Super excited about that. I love the idea of there being like actual missions, like actual things to do when you go flying, whether that's like you have a VIP in your, um, in your airplane, um, you're flying around rich people or something like that, I don't know. Um, to like firefighting, that sounds so cool. Um, doing firefighting missions, um, doing like cargo missions to exotic places. Um, one of those scenes looks like you're flying like a C-130 or something like that. So that's super cool to me. Um, uh, and a lot of like helicopter kind of stuff too, which is uh, really, really cool. So i um, real excited for that game to come out. Um, I, Believe me, I will be streaming that uh, this winter, um, and uh, I'll stream the other Microsoft Flight Sim before that. So, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, don't have too much more. I just got this cutie patootie over here asleep. She's all tuckered out. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, um, that's that's been my life lately. Um, um, I'm real excited about some of the stuff I'm doing. Um, yeah, these, these videos have been good for me. Um, I already, I, I can just, I can physically feel it. Like it feels good. And, um, I appreciate all y'all who come out and literally sit down and watch my video. Um, mostly it's my wife and my mom. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it y'all. Um, and we'll see if some of my other videos maybe draw some other attention. Um, these ones, I'll be honest, these videos are meant for y'all. Um, first and foremost, I mean, y'all are my world. I love y'all so much. And uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad y'all like to watch me talk about my day and about the things I'm excited about and uh, things like that. So. Um, I better get back to my chores. Um, I got some uh, soup I need to dish out and uh, put in some containers and put in the fridge. Um, got some laundry to take care of so that I can uh, have a bed to sleep in tonight because I got a bunch of my blankets and stuff in there washing. Uh, so yeah, um, other than that, I'm gonna finish it off with take a little video of this cutie right here. It's okay, Pepper. Yeah. Say hi to YouTube. You're confused. Okay. Say I love you. Good girl. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love y'all. To my wife, I love you so much. Um, 
I miss you. I miss you like crazy. Thank you so much for everything you do. Um, I can't wait to see you this in, what, about two weeks, a little less than two weeks from now I get to see you. So I'm real excited about that. And uh, to my mom, uh, my sister, I love y'all. Um, please give uh, Abby and Annie a little boop on the nose for me. And uh, with, other than that, y'all, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Hey, y'all. Um, just gonna, oh, her head popped up. <laughs> um, just gonna add real quick to the end of this video. Um, I forgot to say, I'm gonna put a little time lapse, like five minute time lapse of uh, me um, weed whacking and using uh, the leaf blower on the backyard. Um, I don't want to make it into its own video or anything like that. So enjoy if you want to watch me weed whack and blow some leaves around with a really crazy powerful um, leaf blower that I got from my, uh, my dad's collection of tools. So anyway, bye Pepper. Love y'all. Bye.